So, uh, I, I haven't done this in a while. How do, uh, how do I, uh... Just make it spontaneous. Okay. Hi. We haven't exactly been out on a walk in a little while. And to be honest with you, I didn't think I would uh, do another one of these. But then, Donald Trump started torturing children. Yes, you heard me right. Just to clarify, Donald Trump is torturing children. Yeah, I, I, I know it's not uh, the best idea to take up what might not be a popular position on what is admittedly a very small YouTube channel. But at the same time, I can't help but think that uh, I'm a writer and my job is to communicate. And I might not be the best-selling author out there, but I feel a great loyalty to all of my readers out there. And I wanna thank both of you because it's not just novels that I write. Although, there are quite a few very good ones. What, like I could help doing a plug? But you know, I don't just write novels. I also, quite literally, wrote the book on ethics. I wrote a book on illumination. So how could I, in good conscience, not talk about Donald Trump torturing children? Okay, let's, let's unpack that. That admittedly is quite a bit. What am I talking about here? Well, as you or anyone who's been watching the news, or if you're out there in the future, anyone who knows your history, can uh, or should already know, it's been the policy of the Trump administration to kidnap children on the border, separate them from their families, Okay, both the same thing, admittedly. And then put children, ages five, seven, nine, two, one years old, one year old, to put children of all ages, no matter how young, no matter how... See, here's the thing. I gotta admit to you, I don't have kids. I don't even like kids. But when Trump is putting children, babies, toddlers, into cages, what are you gonna do? I knew that at some point I would have to speak up. So, he's been doing this for a little while now. Thousands of children in cages at this point. And the United Nations has had something to say on this topic. Now, I know some of you out there are immediately going to turn your brains off just because I mentioned the United Nations. But you should keep in mind that the United States helped found the United Nations. We used to be the good guys. And now, thanks to all kinds of crazy notions in, let's call it, right-wing media, although now it's just Trump TV, but this has been going on for decades, now a lot of Americans have this false notion of the United Nations just being a bunch of hippies out there in Europe and New York. Typically, the argument against the United Nations insists on protecting America's sovereign rights. This is the argument Republicans have used time and again in an attempt to withdraw from the United Nations. But this is usually only done because we're committing some horrible act. Like what, you might ask? How about torturing children? And here's what the United Nations had to say about torture. The United Nations Convention Against Torture states that torture is 
severe pain and suffering done for a whole lot of reasons. Maybe you're trying to coerce information. Maybe you're trying to force an action. But whatever the reason, and there are many, but whatever the reason is, it is severe pain and suffering. See, this is when I should have looked this up because I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the text over me. But it's something along the lines of, I'm just a dopey writer, what can I tell you? It's something along the lines of pain, severe pain and suffering inflicted, coerced, or acquiesced by some public official, okay? Now, no matter what the reasons for the torture might be, we know who the public official is. The public official is this guy. Donald Trump has ordered children to be put in cages. Now, I don't know a whole lot about children, granted, but I know that my two-year-old dog, here's a picture of her. She's cute, isn't she? But I know that when I leave the room, she just, just falls apart. I can only imagine what might happen to a child of 10 or nine. Now, granted, I was a child myself, but that was some 400 years ago. What do I know about being a kid? But it would seem to me that a child of six or four or two or a child of eight months old, it would seem to me that that child or for that child Simply being torn out of their mother's arms. My hand's getting shaky. I'm going to switch hands again. Simply being torn out of their mother's arms would be torture enough. It doesn't matter how big the cage is. The cage could be as small as a cat carrier. It could be as large as this outdoor expanse. The minute you tear a child out of their mother's arms, take them away from their family, leave them without a home, without a past, without anything. Well, that, my friends, is torture. And if you don't think that's torture, then we have a whole other conversation that we need to have. Because if you are going to side with the people putting babies in cages, then our disagreement goes much, much further back. But if you agree with me that this is, according to United Nations Convention Against Torture, actually torture, then it seems to me that we have a clear choice. Now, my first impulse was to talk about this. and. I thought, you know, I could write something because my written stuff is yeah, pretty good. But the thing is, is oddly enough, and I don't, I can't explain this, but the thing is, is my videos tend to get a bit more traction when it's actually me on the screen talking without a script. And so that's what I'm doing today. Clearly more needs to be done and uh, clearly I need to get more involved and maybe you do too. I don't know what the answer is here, except it needs to stop. Our president is torturing children. <laughs>